Hi guys, I've been Susan here again from Vloggers on the Loose. Uh, today we're going to give you a, uh, I'll make you a video um, on the top um, suburbs in Perth within a 10 kilometre radius of the Perth CBD. So we're going to do five, five houses and five units, five suburbs with the houses and five with the units. So we'll just take a bit of a walk around and um, I'll let you know these um, suburbs that are the cheapest within um, 10 kilometer radius of CBD. Everyone, everyone's out in force today, even the force. <laughs> so, so guys, um, it's a bit blowy over here, we're down at um, Elizabeth Key in the Perth CBD. Um, the first, th these are houses I'll give you first. So the first suburb is Osmond Park and Osmond Park is 7.2 kilometres uh, north of the Perth CBD and uh, there's 4,120 residents over there and the median house price is 703,000 Australian dollars. Wow, that's gone up quite a bit over there in Aussie Park. Uh, average days to sell a house there is five. And have a look at this guys on my left over here. That's the queue over there for the ferry. Those are the ferries going to South Perth. And that's South Perth right in front of you over there. All those buildings. So the ferry will take you straight across there. Okay, the next suburb is Belmont. And Belmont is nine kilometres from the Perth CBD. Uh, 6,785 residents out there in Belmont. Median house price in Belmont is 675,000 Australian dollars. And it takes an average of 13 days to sell a house out there. Uh, the next suburb is Kewdale. And Kewdale is only 9.6 kilometres from the Perth CBD. 6,891 residents out there in Kewdale. And the median house price there is 656,000 Australian dollars. Takes an average of 11 days to sell a house there in Kewdale. Remember guys, these are suburbs 10 kilometres or less from the Perth CBD, so pretty close to the CBD and the median house prices in the suburbs aren't too bad. The next one is Bentley. Bentley is 10, 10 kilometres um, from the Perth CBD and there's 8,782 residents out there in Bentley. Median house price there is 640,000 Australian dollars pretty cheap. Takes an average of six days to sell a house there in Bentley. And the last one on the list for houses is a suburb which has become very popular now. Um, all the young professionals are moving out there. It's a suburb called Nolamara. Nolamari used to be an old homes West suburb years ago, guys. That's what I tell you, talk about all the time about these old um, state housing suburbs, home west uh, homes west housing suburbs, whatever you want to call it, social housing. They usually make a resurgence and they go through the roof in price. So Nolamara is 9.2 kilometres on the Perth CBD. There's 11,570 residents out there in Nolamara and the median house price is creeping up guys 600,000 Australian dollars and they get snapped up fairly quickly takes an average of six days to sell a house there okay so that's the end of the houses so we're going to the units now and some of these will repeat itself So um, the first suburb on the list for units is Belmont. 
And Beltman was featured in the houses also. So Beltman's nine kilometres from the Perth CBD, um, 6,785 residents out there. And the median unit price in Belmont is 400,000. Australian dollars and they are building quite a few units out there guys so you probably pick up a fairly new one out there for a reasonable price. Um, it takes an average of 11 days to sell a unit now. Unit, the units are actually selling pretty fast now because uh, house prices are creeping up and people are, go the younger people are going for units now um, instead of houses because they've been priced out of the market on houses. Unless of, get you, unless of course you get some assistance from your parents or whatever and you can probably buy yourself a house a lot of the young people are going for units now um, the next one on the list is Osborne Park 7.2 kilometres from the Perth CBD 4,120 residents out there in Aussie Park as we call it here in Perth and the median unit price it's only 390,000 Australian dollars. I remember the days when you could buy a unit in Aussie Park for 35,000 Australian dollars. <laughs> That's long gone. Um, it takes an average of seven days to sell a, sell a unit out there in Aussie Park. The next one, pretty, pretty good suburb, uh, Bayswater. Um, eight kilometres, nice, from the first CBD. Um, 14,432 residents out there in Bayswater and the median unit price in Bayswater is 380,000 Australian dollars. So check out Bayswater, not bad out there. Takes an average of seven um, days to sell a unit out there. The next one on the list is Glendalow and we recently done a video on Glendalow it surprised me a little bit, Glendalo. There's more houses there than I thought, and it looks quite good out there. It's only 5.6 kilometres from the Perth CBD, guys. As we walk through Perth over here in the Elizabeth Key area, and um, and that there's the Bell Tower over there and all these new buildings around the place. Have a look at that. Looks quite nice. Very pleasant today. Um, Glendalough, guys, 5.6 kilometres from the Perth CBD. 2,483 people out there. And the uh, median unit price is 358,000 Australian dollars. And it takes an average of 10, days to sell a unit out there. The next one is fairly close to Glendalough also. It's called Wembley. And um, Wembley is 5.4 kilometres from the Perth CBD. 11,301 residents out there. Um, median unit price in Wembley, 359,000 Australian dollars. So everything there is fairly close to the Glendalough, except the amount of residents. Uh, it takes an average of eight days to sell a unit out there in um, Glendalough. What do you guys think of that? I might just wind it up now because that's the end of it. The guys will wind it up over here in front of the bell tower and all that nice water going on in the background there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And um, we'll see you in the next one.